In this video, we're going to cover key things you need to know about an infection that causes spots on the skin, which is called Molluscum contagiosum, which is generally considered to be harmless. We're going to take a look at what it is, what causes it, symptoms and signs, including lots of clinical photos on different skin types, in order to help you try recognize it, as well as what can be done about it. And I've included links in the description box about where you can find out more about it from reputable sources. As ever, each section is split into chapters, so you can skip ahead in the video if you want to. So first of all, what is Molluscum contagiosum? Well, Molluscum contagiosum is a common and generally harmless condition that causes spots on the skin, and it is most common in children and young adults. In terms of what causes it, well, it's caused by a virus and it is infectious, meaning that it can spread to other people if the spots are in direct contact with someone or by sharing the same items like towels and bedding. Now, the spots usually appear after a few weeks once you've made contact with the infected person. Now, they are more common and extensive in people who've got eczema and sometimes people who've got a suppressed immune system, such as by HIV infection or through taking immunosuppressive treatments. People who have this may develop larger numbers of molluscum spots, but most people affected by molluscum and contagiosum are generally in good health. So now we know what it is and what causes it, well, what are the signs and symptoms? Now, usually the only sign of molluscum contagiosum are the spots that appear on the body. Now, lots of different conditions can cause spots on the body, but in general, the molluscum contagiosum spots have got the following characteristics. So firstly, they are usually small from about two to six millimeters across. However, they can grow larger than this up to 10 to 20 millimeters. Secondly, they are raised bumps on the skin, often described as like a tiny dome with a shiny surface. Usually they're skin colored, although they can be red or pink. And again, this is going to depend on your skin type, as you can see here in this range of photos. Now, the most striking feature is a central dimple, which I'm pointing out here. Sometimes areas of dry redness like eczema do appear around the spots. Now in terms of how many spots you might notice, there may be only one or two spots and usually fewer than 20. However, they can be clustered together. Now in terms of the most common areas where the spots appear, these are on the face, the chest, the armpit, the upper legs and genital area. However, they can appear anywhere on the body. In terms of diagnosis, well, typically no tests are needed because the spots can easily be recognized by a doctor. Now, in terms of treatment, the condition usually clears by itself within six to 18 months. However, during this time, there may be development of new ones whilst the old spots are clearing. Sometimes it may take a few years for the body to clear all of the spots. Now, after the spots have healed and cleared, the skin may initially look white, pink, or purplish, but this usually goes back to normal skin tone over time. It's really important that you don't squeeze the spots because this can result in scarring and risk spreading the spots to other parts of the body. And you should also not cut the top layer of the spots off because this can spread the virus or leave slight scars and especially if they get infected afterwards. In terms of self-care, so things that you can do at home, you should make every effort not to pass the infection on to others, particularly those in your family, and to do this stick to your own towel, flannel, clothing and bedding. Now you should see your doctor if you're not sure if your spots are caused by molluscum contagiosum, if the spots are very itchy, painful, swollen or covered with crusts or that they look infected, and finally if you've got spots near your eyes. But for more information on molluscum contagiosum, please check out the links I've included in the description box and thanks for watching.